This is the story of Robert Smalls, and you won't believe how this ends. Robert Smalls was a born slave and did the unimaginable in 1862. Two years into the American Civil War, Abraham Lincoln was indecisive on what to do in regards to slavery in the United States. Even though it became increasingly clear that unless the government moved against slavery, their chances of winning the war were increasingly slim. This created an atmosphere where enslaved blacks were tired of waiting to be liberated. Black people decided to take matters into their own hands. This led to sabotage, revolts, and escapes. In order to escape slavery at that time, the only way to get to freedom was through a literal war zone. Robert Smalls devised a plan to steal a Confederate transport ship right out of the Charleston Harbor and sail it to freedom. Around 3 a.m. on May 13, 1862, Robert Smalls had to navigate through Confederate-controlled waters where he passed through a series of Confederate checkpoints, including the heavily armed Fort Sumter. According to Smalls, everyone made a pact to jump overboard if they were ever captured or shot at because they'd rather die at sea than to be re-enslaved. All 17 of them, nine men, five women, and three children. According to Harper's Weekly newspaper, Smalls didn't reach Fort Sumter until daylight. Fortunately, the ship was just small enough for it to pass directly under its walls. Once out of range of the Confederate guns, Robert Smalls raised a white flag on the ship and they sailed directly towards the Union blockade, where they made their way to freedom. Robert Smalls shared valuable information with the Union Army about Confederate defenses. This led to a long-awaited attack from the Union which served as one of many turning points for the Civil War. Robert Smalls made national headlines with one newspaper calling it, quote, one of the boldest and heroic acts of the war. Smalls later met with Lincoln at the White House and convinced him to accept blacks in the Union Army. Smalls, amongst other black leaders at the time, saw it as a way for black people to quite literally fight for their freedom. The boldness and courageousness of Robert Smalls' actions contributed to Lincoln fully adopting the idea of emancipation and eventually winning the war. Robert Smalls is one of many shining heroes of the Civil War, and he should be talked about and celebrated way more. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments.